So I'm going to start off with my Refreshing Prep by New Look. It's just like a refreshing spray that you spray onto your face so it just has more like liveliness and I don't know. Just So it's like fresh, you know? The Baby Skin Instant Fatigue Blur. Fatigue. This is Urban Decay Primer. It's like a mattifying primer because my skin gets really oily throughout the day. I'm just gonna put that on in all the places my skin gets really oily. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. Now I use a black pencil to do my eyebrows. Like I just, I've just always done that. I don't know why. I just like my eyebrows to be really, really dark. I have like really really light eyebrow hairs just have light hairs all together and so it just looks like I have my eyebrows but my eyebrows are there <laughs> just gonna start off by drawing the shape of the brow that I, the way I want my brow to be um, so like I don't even know what to talk about because I don't want to start mumbling long And a lot of people are asking me why my brows are so close together is because I like to get the illusion of a smaller nose. Sorry, my nose is a little bit crusty right now. But yeah, it gives the illusion that I have a smaller nose when your eyebrows are close together. But not like really close together. Sometimes I try to not have them really close together. But yeah, it might look a little bit uneven right now, but the concealer is just going to fix that up. And I'm just going to start. I'm going to put on my concealer. And I use medium beige LA Pro, no, LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I mix it with a fawn. My fawn. I don't think you can see it. But I'll have all the stuff I use in the description box below. Because I need to get a much better camera that focuses when I put stuff in front of it. Because this camera never wants to work with me. But I'm working on a budget. I'm just gonna get like a concealer brush like this. And it makes it I like to highlight my whole eyebrow because I like the whole halo effect the concealer gives you. I'm just gonna use a concealer to fix up the shape of my I don't even know what look I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do like a, a dramatic look because I'm always going for the more subtle kind of looks, but today I'll try to do something really dramatic. But you know, eyebrows are sisters, not twins or something no I was our sisters not identical I don't know like you know they're not supposed to look exactly the same and if you do get them the same then you're like amazing but sometimes I have my days where they're like perfect other times I have my days and they're not so perfect today is looking like a day that it's gonna be not so perfect but you know what are you gonna do It's really, really hard to get the perfect shape that you want, like sometimes. So I just like to um, hear it. I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I'm going to be talking to the people because I know you guys are watching this. You know, obviously, we understand. Understand why I was talking to myself. Now I'm going to do my um, my foundation, and my foundation is just no. It's the No Shine Matte Fine Foundation for me. Looking at color caramel. And it's a foundation that's much darker than me because I like to have a foundation that's darker than you because it, when I later on put on my concealer and I highlight and all that stuff, it brings back the color into my face and it gives me a kind of like a, a tanned look that you wouldn't get when you're using a, a foundation that matches your skin tone straight away. Now when I put it on, it looks like really orange but it just has to like settle down before the true color comes out. And as I go along, I like to respray the freshen spray so my face doesn't get dry along the way. Because after I'm done, I am gonna um, spray on some uh, fine spray, and it's just gonna make everything matte. I'm not as shiny as before, but 
And this foundation is full coverage and you can just keep reapplying as much as you want until you get you have enough on. Like a little does go a long way, but I just like it to be everywhere. And I keep looking over there because I have a mirror right behind, so I'm just trying to make sure it looks good in all different areas. Because you might look at one mirror and then your makeup looks nice, and then you look into another mirror and it's like. So now I'm just going to use the same two concealers I used when I was doing my eyebrows and I'm going to put them in. So take it off because it is a wig. I could just take it off. Right. Yeah. Now I'm using my um, Make a Revolution palette. It's like a concealer palette, and I'm just gonna use these two colors. It's really dirty. And with post, I am gonna try and be as consistent as I can be, and post as much as I can for you guys, you know. And um, like, so. Like I'll record loads of videos, I will edit and post them one by one. Like I have them up as I'm listed and then I'll post them when I feel like I should post them. I'm just gonna be spread it out just to be my face. My beauty blender is damp, so always use a damp beauty blender. Damp. Blend and I put so much concealer above my lip because I like the way it gives it a kind of like high end. It, it, it like defines the shape of my lip a bit more. I don't know. I just feel like it does. Maybe it doesn't. But I feel like it does. It's gonna blend out my little color. This gap is big enough for you guys now <laughs> because it's always being sensitive. How do you try your brows all close together? Well, I told you why. And like, your eyebrows are supposed to start where your eyes end, and like where your eyes start and where it ends in here. So that connects it just a little bit more over here, but if it was a bit more far further apart, I'd look weird. Well, I think I'd look weird, so I'm gonna do them. Oh, and I'm using my Kiko um, concealer in number A. It's like just a mini concealer. Full coverage concealer. It is really, it's really strong. Sometimes I use it as eyeshadow, you know. It's very nice. It's a nice brown color. High and mighty. Okay. okay, so let's do this eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back in with my primer, my um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. 
and I'm just going to put it like this so it can stay all day. And then Oh, by the way, what I have on my lips is um the sexy little pucker by Soapy Glow. It's like a lip plumping um glass. So like when you put it on during your makeup, you take off your you take it off, and then your lips are like they look nice and they feel better and they look they're like bigger. So you can slide your um your lipstick on much better. Um, I'm going to be using my Julius the New Bring 2 palette by Julius and then I'm going to be going in with Kenya. I can use this one. This one right here. And I'm going to put it into my crease. This is just a normal blend. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques um, the look, the look, the looks Crease Brush. So. Blend it out. So, turns out I wasn't recording while I was doing my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish off my face and I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna contour with my Makeup Revolution Ultra Brush Palette. I don't want the contour to be too harsh because I'm doing such a dramatic look. Maybe I will have a hash. Might as well make everything dramatic. So, yeah. I'm just gonna use that. Cream contour that I was using. I'm gonna bring some color back into my face. <laughs> when it comes to contour on my nose, I don't really have yeah. it that strong. I can't believe it wasn't recording. Like, I actually cannot believe this. Wow, and I was mumbling on along and recording. <sighs> I'm so upset right now. Anyways, I'm going to use my Ultra Ultra Blush Palette Makeup Revolution. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of blush. I'm gonna be using the really pinky color. I'm just gonna use it because it's dark, very pigmented. I'm gonna put my cheeks like this. And I'm gonna just blend it out a little bit. This is a little bit strong. I'm gonna spray it a little bit so it gives it more, more pigment. Okay, I put a bit too much on. We are going dramatic, so let's. I'm going to use this angled brush and just to put a little bit of the highlight onto my brows. I'm going to blend it out. I need to get my brows done. Real soon. And then just put a little bit above my lip. I'm just gonna um, bring it all together with this brush so it's not too harsh and the lines aren't too harsh. And then I'm gonna use my um, little eyeliner to make my dog. It's like my signature dog. Urban Decay, Provision, Bigger, Blacker, and Batter Mascara. I'm so upset that that was a recording, honestly. I don't know how I'm going to do it again. 
again because I'm gonna have to clean off my whole face well clean off my eyelid and then do it again but I will do it again I'm gonna put on to my bandages. I'm gonna be using my um, just just black bonding glue. You can get it like any beauty supply store. And I'm gonna um, get my eyelashes on. I need to decide what lashes I want to wear. I have so many lashes. I think I'm just gonna. I bought some bandages. I'm really. Like dramatic lashes. They're the most dramatic lashes that I have. I hope this video isn't too long. To be honest, I don't want to have too long. I hope you guys just watching while I'm mumbling away and stuff like that. my lashes are on and um, I'm just trying to like blink away all the tears because it's like tearing up my hair and stuff and it's Now I'm gonna go in for lips. I'm just gonna clean off the the motherfucker I have on. I like to like use my beauty blender over my lips. My super stay 24 hour setting spray. And I'm gonna mix it with my Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray. And I actually won't be doing anything to my hair. I'm kinda like leaving it. Uh, so, for what I did with my eyes was that I um I used my concealer, my concealer from my Makeup Revolution London Concealer Palette, and I just like put it all over my lid from here to about middle, middle half, and then I set it with my Ben Nice setting powder, and then after I, but well, first, first, sorry, first of all, I put the the new Beauty Two by Juvia's. I put the Kenyan into the lids I think I said that already and then I put concealer on and then I set with my banana powder and after that what I done was I used a bit of black I used black from a revolution London fortune's favors best palette and I just put it into the end of the lids and then I kind of like blended it out a little bit like I blended it to the Kenyan color so it could it wouldn't be so abrupt where it starts and where the purple finishes and after I used the same concealer, um, concealer brush I used and 
I um I put this Zuri color, Zuri right there. My lids, like, like just of the upper half of my lids, just to give it that highlight look that you can see. And then I just blend it out a little bit, like down onto the bottom half of my lid. And then after that, I just went back in with the same colors to darken it up. Then I put in some liner in the <laughs> bottom lid of my eyes. And then I just used the same Zuri color and I blended out the bottom half just so it, it gave it a smoky kind of look. Then I went in with the same concealer brush and I went in with Zuri again and I just put some highlighter into the inner corners of my eyes just to, hide, just to brighten it up a little bit more. And that was just basically it. If, if that description I just gave you really wasn't good enough, I will. If you, if you guys really want me to... Um, to do it again i will do it again for you that's no problem at all so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial like subscribe share don't be afraid to comment and i i enjoy constructive criticism so if there's anything you want me to you think i should change anything you want me to add on totally fine so yeah thanks guys